How's it going? Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Michael and welcome back to another Fallout New Vegas build on Fudge Muppet. Today we'll be looking at a build that you voted in and it is the Tribal. If you want to vote for next week's build, you can follow the Facebook link in the description and thumb up the build that you want to see next. Your choices are the Pyromaniac and the Cowboy. To play the Tribal, it is highly recommended, basically necessary, that you have the Honest Hearts DLC. Also, if you're using mods, using various tribal tattoos is absolutely sensational for this build's aesthetics. I'll also mention now that whilst we have given the tribal low intelligence, it's not actually indicative of her mental capacity, however you need to be treated like you're an intellectual outsider by others. It will also allow you to get Arcade Ganon as a companion. Role-playing wise, it's also representative of the fact that the tribal has spent her life focusing on physical and instinctual skills rather than academic pursuits, and therefore she hasn't been exposed to things such as science and advanced medicine. Also, we don't need all the skill points intelligence would grant us because we use a very precise skill set. We don't want to be a master of everything. The tribal was born into a tribe outside of New Vegas and spent the entirety of her life learning the ways of her own people. She hunted for them and even bartered with other tribes to create prosperity. She could identify 54 different birds of prey by the time she was 13, and by the time she was 20, she knew over 200 plant and animal species, how they worked, how to kill them, and how to benefit from them. As the tribal continued to learn and become more mature, her tribe was attacked by a nearby township who wanted more town land. Clearly disadvantaged as they wielded guns and larger numbers, she and her family were forced to flee, and as they ran in different directions, she heard their screams and knew she would not see them again. Running away from the gunfire, she reached the outskirts of New Vegas, and was picked up by a roaming trader. Displaced and scared, she continued on with him and they headed all the way to the town of Prim. She was devastated that her family had been murdered and taken from her life so suddenly. Arriving in Prim, she noticed they had large supplies of food, and of course to her this was pretty neat. She wouldn't have to spend her days in the wild doing it tough, however it was suggested she were a courier for the town, and her payment would be plenty of good food. She gladly accepted, she could easily track people, traverse difficult terrains, sneak past patrols, and survive in the wasteland. It was a win-win situation, until of course she was shot in the head. Looking at the tribal as she begins a new life in the wasteland, you're going to start off with 8 strength, 5 perception, 8 endurance, 6 charisma, 2 intelligence, 6 agility, and 5 luck. Strength and endurance will of course be to represent her physical abilities and survival knowledge, 6 agility to represent her instinctive speed and coordination, and 6 charisma to display her basic bartering enthusiasm and love for animals. Your tag skills are going to be your major skills as usual, and they are unarmed, survival, and sneak. Your minor skills will be melee, which is mainly just to get the perks that will affect your unarmed, and also barter, representative of the actual bartering the tribal has done with other tribes. Unarmed, sneak, and survival are pretty self-explanatory, and they are the foundation of abilities for the tribal's main skill set and overall playstyle. Moving into traits, the tribal doesn't actually need any, so you can choose whatever you want. Also, the tribal is a nice build to play on hardcore mode for anyone wanting a build that does that. Looking at your endgame character for level 30, the gear we're using is the Salt Upon Wounds Power Fist and the Sorrows Outfit. You can use a variety of weapons such as the Embrace of the Mantis King, Gun Runner's Arsenal, and the Fist of Raw from Lonesome Road, however we personally like the Salt Upon Wounds Power Fist the most. Salt Upon Wounds Power Fist gives the tribal 3 points of damage over 10 seconds on top of the normal damage to represent literally rubbing salt in a wound. The Power Fist is also a holdout weapon that can be concealed with a sneak of 50, which means the tribal will be taking it wherever she goes. Finally, the Fist also makes enemies dizzy, another useful feature you wouldn't expect. The Sorrow's Outfit has a damage threshold of 2 and increases survival by 5. Remember to mod in tribal paint designs if you can. Sorrow's Outfit is light armor and there are many stealth perks you will see in the part 2 video which the tribal benefits from because of this. The tribal will not be using any implants as she is all natural and will use the essential perks Hunter, Animal Friend, Piercing Strike, Tribal Wisdom, Walker Instinct, Alertness and Intense Training. Intense Training will be to put 2 points into Agility and 1 point into Perception. Hunter will let you deal 75% more critical damage against animals and mutated animals and this is representative of the tribal's animal knowledge. For Animal Friend we are using both ranks. The first rank will make animals not attack you and the second rank is really awesome and it actually makes animals come to your aid in battle. This means that NCR guard dogs and legion mongrels will help you, night stalkers will fight for you, and even bighorners. There's quite a lot on the list, but those are some of the cool ones. 
Piercing Strike will make your fist negate 15 points of damage threshold, and Tribal Wisdom will make you take 50% less limb damage from animals, mutated animals, and mutated insects. It also gives you a 25% resistance to poison and is a very wacky perk because it gives you the ability to eat mutated insects in sneak mode. Yum. Walker Instinct is a powerful perk as it gives you an extra point to agility and perception whilst outside in the wasteland, and of course this is where the tribal is spending most of her time, so it's almost a permanent bonus. The final essential perk is pretty basic, and it is alertness. This is representative of the tribal's ability to spot prey out in the wild, and it gives you two extra points of perception whilst crouching and motionless. Overall, at the end of the game, the tribal has 8 strength, 6 perception, 8 endurance, 6 charisma, 2 intelligence, 8 agility, and 5 luck. Outside in the wasteland, she has 7 perception and 9 agility. When it comes to the main storyline, the tribal will be siding with Yes Man. She doesn't trust House because she can't see him physically and thinks he is manipulating others with his money to get his way. She also doesn't like the NCR because they abolish a lot of the culture of tribes by clearing them out, and the same goes for the Legion, so she will be siding with Yes Man. Yes Man also gives the tribal the ability to do things her own way, so even though she's talking to a robot, which she finds very weird, it is making no attempts to mislead her or control her. When it comes to companions, the tribal will be using Arcade Ganon. Arcade Ganon will help the tribal due to her low intelligence attribute, and he will be her personal scientist, helping her do all the computer-based things she doesn't quite understand. She takes his advice quite seriously, and she's a good judge of character. She sees Arcade as a compassionate human being and respects his actions greatly. The tribal will help the followers of the apocalypse, and will also choose to exterminate the White Legs during the Honest Hearts DLC. And that wraps up this week's Fallout New Vegas build, The Tribal. I hope you enjoyed this build, and from Scott and I, thank you for watching, and an extra massive thank you if you share this with your friends and subscribe for more. Our ideal Fallout 4 project is also coming along well, so be sure you stay tuned over the next couple of weeks. To see all the perks we choose for The Tribal, and we've planned every single one out, remember to watch the part 2 video. In the description, you can find our social media links and the Facebook link to vote for next week's Fallout build. Pyromaniac or Cowboy? My name is Michael, this was The Tribal, and I'll see you tomorrow with more Fudge Muppet content.